So by request, we need to talk about the most memorable boots that I checked out in stores across the country last year. I got five for you here that are the most memorable to me anyways. And man, will some of them stick with you after this. I got five awesome boots that I looked at at five amazing mom and pop stores last year from several different states, five different states. <laughs> We're not, we got no repeats in this, so let's go over it and get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way One of the things that I do is go across country, visit boot stores. Last year I was on the road with Phil Giharo Jr. of Hondo Boots and I also visit uh, boot stores on my own but I love going to small mom and pop boot stores where there is only one. These franchise places I already know what to expect, but the cool stuff is in the small shops because they can get exclusives from many of these boot brands. So during my travels all over the United States last year, I have five boots that stood out to me more than others, and you will see why. So let's start at number five. Let's go to Pleasant Hills, the Western experience in Rogers, Minnesota, where I checked out the Corral Gnarly Fish Skin Boot. I mean, look at this thing. Look at what Corral is doing. So that is fish on the foot and the counter, and you can see how gnarly those scales look. But the gnarly doesn't stop there. In the tops, they have like burlap inlay and all of this <laughs> weird distressing. They also have a hybrid outsole on it and they look gnarly for sure. Both the tops and <laughs> the foot as well. Very, very memorable. I didn't see another boot like that on the trip. So if you guys are interested in learning more about that, uh, head on over to Pleasant Hills, the Western Experience in Rogers, Minnesota, or I believe their website is uh, phsaddle.com, I think. Uh, so definitely check them out. Great, great store with lots of cool boots and leave it to Corral to make something gnarly like that and just own up to it and call it gnarly, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, the fourth most memorable boot and store and experience that I had last year was at the Saratoga Saddlery in Saratoga Springs, New York, where I met viewer Jim Collins, who's on the stream right now with a pair of Lucchese Ropers. We both looked at some Lucchese Ropers. I believe I tried the water buffalo calf and he tried the calf skin or goat and both were great options. So Lucchese is doing some different things now and they're starting to focus their efforts more online and some of the quality here with these Lucchese's were a little bit different. They did have pigskin lining if I remember correctly. Those ones were still made in the US uh, but you know, Lucchese is starting to pull back from the retailers and some of these small shops. So they're starting to try to compete with Tacovas a little bit more and selling their boots online more and more. And that was one of the complaints at Saratoga Saddlery there when Jim and I visited. And uh, thanks again for uh, visiting with me there, Jim. And if anybody else uh, is around when I'm around those boot stores, then I'd love to have you as a guest as well. But Lucchese, definitely interesting in the choices that they are making. And a lot of the choices that they are making aren't making the small mom and pop shops very happy. So who knows how much longer you will be able to get Lucchese's from those small mom and pop shops. Hopefully they make a 180 on that uh, because those shops definitely love their Lucchese's. Now, let's head on over. It's thousands of miles away, maybe just 1,000, <laughs> to the Midwest and go to Young's Western Wear in Valentine, Nebraska, where I checked out the Olathe RS1 with those beautiful metallic gold tops. I mean, geez, are you kidding me? Also, that rawhide heel counter, a beautiful 
cutter toe, but those metallic gold tops, are you kidding me? Such a memorable boot. How could you forget a pair of boots like that? In fact, they were the only pair that I could find on the shelves there. So they went fast or else Olathe was like, this is a ridiculous boot. Why should we continue making it? I only saw an 11D at Young's Western Wear there in Valentine, Nebraska. So if you are interested in getting it, definitely call them or visit them online. I believe their website is Discount Western Wear something like that. It's way different from what their actual name is. They definitely went for the SEO, search engine optimized name there. Um, I think that's what it is. So definitely check out those boots if you're interested. Uh, the only one that I saw was the 11D. Very, very memorable. All right, now let's head back east for a second to Higginsville, Missouri and visit Klein Schmitz for their Fenolio Lizard Boots. This was on the first day, the first store that we stopped at on the Hondo Tour number 2022 and just a beautiful gray vintage color lizard and it looked like a J-toe in the store but they told me that it's actually a snip toe. Still, it is a beautiful look with a leather outsole. Of course, Fenolios are made in the USA and just look at how good that boot Boot looks such a memorable boot with that lizard the color and that toe shape you gotta love the combination of those Fenolio lizard boots and they're only available at Klein Schmitz that's what's so special about these mom and pop small shops right that there's only one of because they make exclusives with brands and they end up making stuff like that that you can't get anywhere else it's so special and that's why that boot was so so memorable to me shop small guys these small shops they got the goods you know what I'm saying all right all right, we're, we're down to the fifth one um, and the most memorable boot for me, and you'll see why. So let's head on over to Aberdeen, South Dakota, to the Hitchin Post, where I found the Hondo 3476 New Buck Electric Blue Bull Hide. <laughs> Look at how cool it looks. I love the blue New Buck. They call it electric blue, and for good reason, too. It is so, so electric. It looks like it's just uh, got sparks all over the place uh, with the grain of that bull hide. It's so cool, so unique, and in fact, they sold out of that boot as soon as I put the video up. So you guys loved that boot, too. They told me, we, we sold out of the size one that we had for men and uh, what they did was they put in another order right away and they messaged me a few weeks ago and they said, we're restocked. So if you want them and you missed out on your size last time, contact Hitchin Post if you want them now because they are restocked in a few sizes. I don't know how many they ordered, but if they are sold out by the time that you call them or email them or Facebook message them, then please tell them to say, you know, get another order. Please tell them to order some more because that is such a cool and unique boot that you can only get from the Hitchin Post. These small shops are so creative and they make such cool boots in collaboration with these brands. What do you guys think about the top five? Were there any other ones that you saw? Uh, any videos that you saw last year where I did a quick impression in store and you're like, why didn't that one make the list? I think about that one every day. There's so many cool boots, I want them all. And when I do, I'm sure to shop small. Shopping small for those really unique and memorable boots. Visit your local mom and pop Western wear shop today. Or find a favorite online. 